Jibber 1000 here. Today we got some more uh, thrift store finds. Um, okay, let's just jump into it and let's see what we got here. So Monkey got that mirror. It's an antique mirror. Um, we're going to hang it up here on this wall. So she got that. And these are three items I got. She found this. So we picked it up. It's all here. It's a Sterno cook stove. It's an older one. I'll have to look it up. Um, there's no UPC things on it. So it is an older one. But this, you know, we'll be using. And I got a couple more cameras here. Uh, we gave five bucks for this. I'll tell you what we gave. Uh, for this one, he had 35 on it. I got it for 25. And I got this one for 15. So let's check this one out. Well, get this thing zip it this way. Okay. This one is a Kodak. It's an older one, but it is digital. But it's, I, I guarantee it's not 1080p. I'm sure it's 720. But that's pretty cool to add to my collection because I don't buy still image cameras. But this has the, um, like I said, I'll have to look it up. But this does have the, uh, you can record movies or, you know, film with, or uh, video with it. Um. It comes with, I don't have the charger, but it, it, it will also take regular uh, AAA or AA batteries, but it comes with that. It also has an extra one of those down in here as well. The little bag's cool because you got a place to put your, your memory cards. And we'll check these out a little bit later. So, but this one I thought was pretty neat. This one's pretty cool. Um, I um, it says it's um, dual media. So I looked this up online briefly. I didn't do a lot of homework on it yet, but um, what it is is uh, here is a you can put you know a little memory card in there. Now this, I'm not sure if it takes a disc or a um, floppy disc or what. So I'll have to do some more research on that. Um, I get the battery out of it right now in the charger. So, and I have, this charger didn't come with it. This is my charger for my big light that takes the same style of battery. So it's charging. So we got this. Now I got something I'm gonna take you outside and show you what Monkey bought for me. Uh, Cause I, I believe I got a pretty good damn deal on it. So we're gonna head outside right now and we're gonna check that out. These will be in other videos. I'll probably do these two in one video, that in another video. And let's go outside. All right, I got this stand here. Needs a piece of wood on it. So I got the stand. There was something on there, but it broke off. $185. I know I'm crazy, right? But I'll show you what was on it. And that is this thing. Check this out. It's a Scott Atwater. This is with Bellomatic. Now I don't know anything about this motor. Got it off a friend of ours. He doesn't know anything about it. Um, it is not locked up. Here's a card from some sale or something. Um, 16 horsepower. It's a 1955. 16 horsepower. So. Like I said, we know nothing about it. We do know it's not locked up. So let's go ahead and take this cover off. And I'll show you what I did look at. I did look inside of here. Um, we may do some checking with this tonight. I don't know. 
But what I did find, I'm guessing it lost spark or something. I don't know how hard it is to find parts for these things. Like I said, I gave $185 for this. But the reason why I think it's a spark issue is because they don't have plugs in it. And there's only one spark plug wire on it. It goes in there and the other one is supposed to come out right there. And, uh, but it is not locked up. So, uh, I'm guessing there was a spark issue with it. it does have forward and reverse right here. 1955, I had to have it. And I talked about it, talked about it. Monkey's like, you think you can get it running? I said, really? She was like, all right, because we, we went back, and I was like, all right, look, he wanted 200 for it. He didn't even want to sell it. He threw a number out at me, and I, I went back, and I said, all right, I'm here to deal on that. He said, 200, he said, it's $200. I said, no, it's 175. He goes, all right, it's 185. And I said, okay, then it's 185, and I bought it. I see a screw right there that's loose right up under here so what we're going to do is this is not on here real well what i'm going to do is uh try to get this down on here a lot better and i'm going to try to i'm sure the pump i'm sure it's going to need a pump um we're going to take this off get this off of it And we'll have to, I don't have a set of plugs for it, but if I can get spark, then I may take the plugs out of that one and put in here or just go buy a set if they got them. And we'll see if we can get it to start, but first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull this flywheel off of here and find out what's going on why that's missing the spark plug and why that screw over there is loose so someone was having trouble with it like he said you know he said marty i don't know anything about it but he says you know if you ever get rid of that i want first dibs on it so if anything you know i'll sell it back to him for what i gave for it so anyway but i think i can make a few bucks but i thought you know if I can get this running good, I'll put it on the boat and see which one of these motors I like better and sell the other one. Um, I also talked to Monkey about maybe even uh, putting both these on there. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> but that's kind of half-jokingly. Um, but I don't, like, I don't think I've got the connection for that the right connection for that but that's not a big deal to you know just to get it running you know we can spray something in the carburetor there so anyway there you go there's our thrift store finds now i'm going to go ahead we're going to get a screwdriver out here and we're going to pop this off of here see what we can do with it in the meantime Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you guys know anything about these, let me know. I've never heard of a Scott Atwood. Uh, I haven't researched it yet or anything, so... I mean, I'm guessing it's two-stroke. We'll just have to see. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care.